Good morning, Octavia. News broke overnight that change has come to South Carolina. That's right, Octavia. Within just a few hours, we could possibly know who the new superintendent will be. We saw it in practice. Now we're seeing it here on the pitch tonight with just one half under their cleats. The battery have come out with a fiery and physical fight to win. The EPA just proposed a raise in ethanol and gasoline. What that will mean for boaters coming up on News 2 Midday. For over 160 years, this street has claimed the name Calhoun Street. Now one Charleston City Council member, William Dudley Gregory, is looking to change history by renaming Calhoun Street Emanuel Way. Calhoun Street was named back in the 19th century after John C. Calhoun, also known as the Great Nullifier, who served as vice president as well as South Carolina state senator. Council member Gregory has proposed this name change as part of the resolution following the Emanuel AME shooting that left nine dead. Now we want to hear from you. Head to our website, countonto.com, and take place in our poll if you think Calhoun Street should be renamed. Live in downtown Charleston, I'm Alexis Shirelli, News 2. The Charleston community continues to show its love and support for the Fallen Nine outside of Emanuel AME Church. As you can see, countless flower arrangements, lit candles, messages, and little trinkets, all in remembrance of the victims. Now we will continue to bring you details of the funeral arrangements for the Fallen Nine as they continue to come in ahead on News 2 Midday. Live in downtown Charleston, Alexis Shirelli, News 2. Well, unfortunately, summer is coming to an end, which means leases are as well. The city of Charleston has teamed up with the college to organize the most efficient way to discard any of your unwanted household items. There is plenty of battery soccer left. Stay with us.